What happens after you press the power button on a computer? Hi, I'm Adam, and if you watch this video all the way through, I'll tell you and also help you understand how you can have different programs running simultaneously. Firstly, the power supply sends power to the computer's motherboard which wakes up the CPU. Stage 2 is for the BIOS software on the motherboard to check the computer's hardware parts are working correctly. For example, if the keyboard is plugged in. This process is called the power on self test. If a test fails, the computer will make beeping sounds. The amount of beeps can help you diagnose the problem. At stage 3, the BIOS looks for an operating system, like Windows or Mac OS. Finally, the operating system loads and starts running so it can help you interact with the computer, for example, using the mouse or running a program. So what's happening when you are running programs? If you've watched the rest of the playlist you'll know the processor is the brain of the computer. It can do one thing at a time, following one step from just one program at any given time. Computers create the illusion of executing multiple programs simultaneously by alternating very fast between executing the instructions of each individual program. It's like me appearing to watch this YouTube video at the same time as scroll Instagram on my tablet. I might appear to be concentrating on both, but I am actually only focused on one at a time. I just keep switching between the two so it looks like I am. Modern processes have multiple cores, like having lots of separate brains that can work together to process data and execute instructions much more quickly than a single CPU ever could. Once the operating system has loaded, it can take care of your computer. You can see what it's monitoring in Windows using the task manager by pressing and holding control, shift and escape, though if you are using a school computer, this may be disabled for you. The Mac OS operating system has something similar called Activity Monitor. It's Command, Shift and Escape for that one. Finally, the Linux operating system. The free open source operating system Linux has the System Monitor program too. So let's see what a System Monitor can show us. I am using Windows, so I'll load the Task Manager to show you. Oh, and by the way, I will use these keywords for this section. Processor load, main memory usage, network activity. The processor load is the amount of work the computer's processor is doing. The main memory usage is the amount of the computer's RAM being used, and the network activity means how much data is being sent or received over the computer's network connection. When the computer is idle, the processor load, main memory usage, and network activity should all be low. This PC has recently loaded, and you can see the processor load is around 20 to 23%, the main memory usage is similar, and there is no network activity. Now the photo editing software Adobe Photoshop is starting. The processor load is higher than idle. Look how much is due to Photoshop. The memory is a bit higher too. This computer has 32 gigabytes of RAM, so it can cope. But it is why you should check the specifications of a computer can handle the software you want to use. The processor load has dropped now. So let's load an image. Watch the percentages. There's no network usage as Photoshop is not needing to send or receive any data over the internet. Now time to resize the image. It has increased as doing this involves performing complex mathematical operations on the pixels. Also, the data has to be temporarily stored in RAM, so the memory usage will also increase. When the image is being warped, it increased even more. If the specification of the computer is not high enough, it could slow down or crash. I didn't mention disk, but just so you know, it's how much data is written to the computer's secondary storage. It needs to do this when the data is too large for RAM, like when running this program. My friend Jack is video streaming what to consider when buying a computer on the Enjoy Computing YouTube channel. What observations can you make about the processor load, memory usage and network activity? Rewind the video if you need to. So what should you have learned in this video? The BIOS software runs a power on self-test to check your computer is working when you start it. 
you can see how your computer is performing in terms of the processor load, memory usage and network activity. And it's worth checking your computer spec before installing software as computation can be intensive for some programs.